Today we're going to be building a mortar rack. In front of me I have all the materials we're going to need. You can see I already pre-cut the wood and I also already um, pre-drilled. That way we reduce splits in the wood. Um, this right here is 2 by 3 inches and this is 2 foot long and that's 1 foot high. And then this is 1 by 4 inches and that is 27 inches long because it's going to cover not only the base but all the way to the sides. You can kind of see right here. So I'm going to go ahead and start assembling it. Here's the finished 10 shot mortar rack. You can see I got orange 12 inch DR11 tubes in it. And you can, I mean, you can tell that they're, uh, they're loose enough that you can take them out, but they're snug that, I mean, they're not going anywhere. Um, I found this design is very, like, this is my favorite design. You can make it so that the rails are like as high as the tube, but I prefer it where the tube has a little bit of, uh, you know, room sticking out. Um, you know, once you build a 10-shot rack, there's really no limits on what you can do after that. If you build three 10-shot racks, you could turn into a 30-shot rack easily by putting, you know, plywood on all three ends. And uh, if you want to make it fanned, you know, you'd have your first 10-shot rack in the middle. The second 10-shot rack will be kind of tilted with the bases touching, maybe two inches apart, and then same thing on the other side. And like I said, just put plywood on the ends, and uh, then you have a 30-shot fan rack. Um, I actually ordered 100 of these tubes. Um, there's gonna be a picture on Facebook so make sure to go check that out if you want to make sure to like it and uh, you'll be seeing a lot a lot of mortar racks this coming 4th of July I'm, I'm really preparing so check it out